brick wall. Okay, first of all, this video is a video of my lawnmowers. Next will be the bikes. Now, first of all, these lawnmowers, some were bought, some was a gift. Now, the only reason I'm going to show you these is because I have plans to do something with these. Starting off with this one back here. This is a 2005, um, I think it's a Dynamark with a 3 and a 3... 3.75, 3 and a quarter, I think it is, uh, Briggs and Stratton motor, in really good condition, we bought that brand new, it was base model, the next one we have, this black one, this was actually my grandmother's, we bought it for her, for her house, when she moved into her house, where she needed a lawnmower, what we did was we used, um, Duplicolor, uh, basically, it's like a clear coat. It's like a enamel. It's called engine enamel. Well, that works good for uh, paints and stuff like on bikes without it. Like older bikes to restore them, make it look shiny. We did that with all of these lawnmowers. The next one we have here is a K-Gro, which came from Kmart. It's a four-horse Tecumseh. This motor is excellent. Nothing absolutely is wrong with this. We actually bought this at a garage sale for $25. We put some of that enamel stuff on that. I don't know if you can see the shine too good or not. But yeah, this one's got the handle that goes all the way up just like a just like a typical Tecumseh. In the springtime, I'll start every one of these up and make a video of that. The next one we have here was this was actually... Not, I can't really say a gift, but, um, it was given to me. An older woman that lived, uh, next door to my grandma. And she, I, I ended up mowing her yard for her because my grandma lived right next door to her. So she didn't need the lawnmower anymore. So she said, well, I'm just gonna, I said, what are you gonna do with the lawnmower? She said, well, I'm just gonna call and get rid of it. Well, I said, don't get rid of it. I'll take it if you want to. Of course, I didn't say it like that. I said, if you don't want it, I can take it. Well, of course, it was horribly dirty. This was actually all restored. It was rusted. The motor was not that clean. It was never that shiny. It was dingy. It was black and dirty and grungy. So, yeah, it's a three and a half horse to come see. It runs really good. Nothing wrong with it. She just got rid of it because it had a bad spark plug, and she I don't think she knew that. But... What I'm going to end up doing with this one in the springtime is I'm going to give this back to the woman. So that way she can mow her yard because my grandma's going to be moving again. This old antique back here is a white, um, it's a, it's got the Quantum Briggs and Strat motor on it. Runs really good. This lawnmower dates back to 20 years ago. This lawnmower story was was my friend's dad, grandpa, or dad. So it was my friend's grandpa had this lawnmower and he did not need it no more because he bought one with self-propelled. Of course, it was never that clean. We put some of that enamel stuff on the surface. Of course, you can't see the other part. Runs really good. It's just not primed and it's got some fatigue in the motor. So what that means uh, it does take a while to start it, and once it gets running, it sort of uh, stalls out. But once you get it going again, keep pulling it, it gets running. It starts off real slow and kind of knocks a little bit, and then it gets going. Runs pretty good, considering how old it is. I don't really know how many mowings left on that thing, because it's been around the block. I have it. My lawnmower collection, I guess you could say, even though I don't collect lawnmowers. What I'm planning on doing is getting that one back to her and probably just keeping uh, four lawnmowers I guess uh, the one I usually use to mow our yard is that one and usually that one 
But this year my dad gets that black one and this green one. So we'll see. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with all of them yet. So that's this video. And thanks for watching. More videos will come um, with other winter activities or winter videos that I can put on here that involves things that I can't do outside much other than videos of cars. That's also coming. So you think you may hate it now, but wait till you drive it. For Kevert Zella.